Developmental and epileptic encephalopathies, or DEE, is actually a, um, an amalgamation of various rare and ultra-rare epilepsy syndromes. Um, these kids all have similarities in that they are um, have epilepsy or have seizures as one of their hallmarks. They also have developmental disorders. We initiated a trial last, I think it was first half of the year in April of 2018, where we were looking to enroll about 50 patients in that trial in sites in Australia as well as New Zealand. Uh, that study completed enrollment at the end of 2018 and now patients are finishing up their dosing and we'll report out top line data in the third quarter of this year. Um, these patients do suffer from very retractable um, or intractable um, epilepsy syndromes. And so it's a whole host of different subsets, including Dravet syndrome, Lennox-Gastaut, as well as things like Otohara's disease, infantile spasms. And so together, they represent about 50,000 or so children here in the United States. Again, rare and ultra-rare syndromes that are the basis of it. And we believe that Zin002 does have anti-epileptic effect. It's been proven in animal models of epilepsy and has been shown in various other forms of CBD that have been, uh, that have been studied. Actually, one other company has just recently been approved for Dravet and Lennox-Gastaut here in the United States using an oral formulation of CBD. Ours is transdermal, which is different, bypasses the stomach, minimizes the GI disturbances that children tend to get with an oral formulation and allows you to get to the adequate blood levels in order to show its effect. So we're excited about being able to show the, uh, the effect of ZIN002 in DEE and hopefully those data will be out in the third quarter of this year.